Ladies and gentlemen, one morning at a small airfield hidden deep within the forests of Florida, a group of uniformed men appeared not soldiers, but researchers from the United States Department of Agriculture. They were unloading large wooden crates from the back of a truck. Inside, those crates were dead mice. All the cargo was loaded onto a helicopter, and just minutes later, thousands of tiny furry parachutes began to fall from the sky. Each mouse was fitted with a miniature parachute soaked in toxic chemicals, drifting slowly through the air before landing among the treetops below. The sight looked less like science and more like a covert military operation. But in reality, this was a real scientific experiment that took place on the island of Guam in 2013. Now, ecologists are considering bringing it back this time to Florida, where the Burmese python, a massive invasive species, is devastating the state's fragile natural ecosystem. In 2013, on the island of Guam, a small U.S. territory in the Pacific Ocean, the U.S. government launched a campaign known as the Parachuting Mice Operation. Its single goal, to eradicate the brown tree snake, an invasive species that had completely destroyed the island's ecological balance. After World War II, brown tree snakes accidentally arrived on Guam aboard military ships. They don't kill humans, but they wiped out 10 of the island's 12 native bird species, triggering a 40-fold explosion in spider populations. The snakes even learned to climb power lines, causing widespread blackouts and threatening the island's tourism, the lifeline for Guam's 160,000 residents. Scientists discovered that brown tree snakes are extremely gluttonous and highly sensitive to paracetamol, the common painkiller used by humans. Just a tiny dose, about 1 16th of a Tylenol tablet, is enough to kill a snake within hours. So they decided to drop 2,000 dead mice laced with paracetamol from helicopters over the forests. The $8 million operation was considered a success. Snake numbers fell dramatically and bird populations slowly began to recover. Guam became a symbol of bold technological warfare against invasive species. But in Florida, the situation is far more complicated. According to recent data, the state is now home to over 500 invasive species spreading across nearly 700,000 hectares of land and costing residents more than half a billion dollars each year to control. Among these invaders, snakes and pythons pose the greatest threat. Burmese pythons, South American boas, and even anacondas, once imported as exotic pets, have now become the dominant predators of the Everglades wetlands. And the most alarming part, they carry a deadly parasite called Rylietiella orientalis. This parasite attacks the respiratory systems of native wildlife, causing pneumonia and respiratory failure. Is parachuting mice the answer? At first glance, it might sound like a reasonable idea. After all, Burmese pythons do eat mice. But in reality, the problem is far more complex. Florida is home to 45 native snake species, most of which play a vital role in maintaining ecological balance. They hunt rats, frogs, and lizards animals that damage crops and spread disease to humans. If poisoned mice were dropped from the sky, that would mean poison entering the entire food chain, affecting native snakes, birds of prey, foxes, bobcats, black bears, and even the endangered Florida panther. In trying to destroy one enemy, Florida could unintentionally wipe out its own natural protectors. According to PETA, eating mice laced with paracetamol can cause liver and kidney failure in snakes, leading to a slow, painful, and inhumane death over the course of several days. Experts have also warned that this method is highly indiscriminate, posing risks not just to pythons, but to the entire food chain. From scavengers and birds of prey to mammals and other reptiles, even in Guam, where the operation was considered a success, it never eradicated the brown tree snake. 
In 2020, the U.S. Department of the Interior had to allocate an additional 3.4 million dogs just to keep the program running. From the beginning, the goal was never total extermination, but simply to control the population's spread. In Florida, things are even more complicated. Here it's not just a single invasive species, it's a web of overlapping non-native organisms that interact with one another in unpredictable ways. A single mistake could trigger a chain reaction across the ecosystem, leading to unintended and potentially irreversible consequences. In the face of such risks, Florida's researchers refused to give up. Instead, they changed their strategy searching for new, unconventional snake killers methods that are safe, natural, and smart. A new project from the South Florida Water Management District, SFWMD, has introduced a 120 robotic rabbits designed specifically to lure Burmese pythons out of hiding. These mechanical baits emit heat moves like real rabbits and are powered by solar energy. Each one is placed in a camera monitored enclosure, ready to send an automatic alert to python catching teams the moment a snake approaches. If the snakes seem cautious, the robots can even be coated with the scent of real rabbits to make them irresistible. Each robotic rabbit costs about $4,000, but in return, they don't need food rest or cleaning, and they can withstand mud water and heat. The early trials have shown promising results, a glimpse of how technology might turn the tide in Florida's war against invasive predators. Drones may fail because Burmese pythons are cold-blooded animals that emit no detectable body heat. But sniffer dogs don't have that limitation. At the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, FWC, two black Labrador retrievers, Truman and Eleanor, have been specially trained to recognize the scent of Burmese pythons. After more than a month of conditioning with towels carrying real python scent, these two canine agents have already detected dozens of pythons hidden deep within the flooded forests of Miami-Dade County. When they catch the scent, they signal their Hold it carefully. allowing wildlife biologists to move in and safely capture the snake. Each week, Truman and Ellen work five days straight in traverse the vast Everglades swamps, becoming the unsung heroes of Florida's ecological war. Good boy, that's it. The eastern indigo snake, once locally extinct, is being reintroduced into Florida to help restore the state's natural ecological balance. Unlike pythons, indigos are non-venomous, but they're powerful enough to hunt and eat venomous snakes. They are apex predators, harmless to humans, yet a direct threat to young Burmese pythons, the most vulnerable stage in the python's life cycle. In one documented video, an indigo snake kills and swallows a newborn Burmese python, proving that nature always finds a way to defend itself. Just last month, 42 indigo snakes were released into the forests of North Florida. This marks the ninth year of the reintroduction program, and encouragingly, some individuals have already begun breeding in the wild, a promising sign for the future of Florida's fragile ecosystem. According to scientists, in the coming years, Florida will combine all three strategies. Robotic decoys, scent tracking dogs, and the reintroduction of native predator snakes. Alongside these efforts, researchers are developing genetic technologies capable of detecting python DNA in the environment, a tool that will help identify breeding hotspots and allow early intervention before populations spread. At the same time, a public education campaign is being expanded urging residents to practice responsible pet ownership and never release exotic animals into the wild. Together, these strategies the represent a shift toward a smarter, more balanced form of ecological defense one that relies not just on force, but on science, technology, and coexistence with nature. More than half a century after the Guam operation, 
Florida now stands at the greatest ecological crossroads in its history. From parachuting mice to robotic rabbits, from python-sniffing dogs to indigo snakes, humans are trying everything to reclaim the Everglades wetlands from the grip of invasive species. No one knows which strategy will ultimately be the in key this delicate to success. Balance, science but one thing is wild. certain. A every experiment, to nature's every invention, power. every creature reintroduced into the wild carries the last hope of nature itself. One day, these unusual snake killers may be the very thing that saves Florida, or at the very least helps us better understand the fragile boundary between science and life. This has been a science report from the Everglades, Florida. If you love nature, don't forget to leave a like and share this story, because sometimes one simple click can change the way humans and nature coexist.